sock will, will Bill throw it will just he, drop it. He's getting worse from upstairs. Learning more. He's hearing it from yes. upstairs. Could you see it? <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Shaq would have been proud of that dog. <laughs>so yeah, let me go ahead and kind of transition into another topic. I kind of was speaking on it already a little bit. You see the jersey, um, the Dolphins doing our thing, balling like a big dog. Tua, the arm of the almighty Tua is prevailing again. Damn, Western Domus. Yeah, what happened? What happened? Um, it seemed like you've been right all this time. The most accurate quarterback in NCAA history. I got to keep saying that every time on the Mark West Sports Podcast. Why? Because at the end of the day, you're right again, Wes. Where's your crystal ball? I need to buy a crystal ball. You feel me? I ain't doing no woo, no none of that. But 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 when it comes to when you know your shit, it feels good when you can throw that shit in people's face. That was the doubters. Like what Tua's doing right now. The people that say that he can't throw deep balls? <laughs> What's going on? Y'all need to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Um, I love I love what I'm seeing. Right now, the Dolphins is on a 2-0 and start. We already know what it is. Um, we learned, we learned, we learned a lot, matter of fact, these these um two games. Well, not me, because I already kind of knew. Um Marcus, he he kind of got on the bandwagon, jumped back on the ship later on. Last season, um, I know he had a bad taste in his mouth like myself when it came to um, us having an eight and three start. And then we wind up falling backwards into the playoffs um, because of the injuries, you know, and I know that's Marcus is um, that's his that's his his kryptonite for me and my argument majority of the time. And probably other people that talk about the arm of the almighty Tua, will he stay healthy? Yo, I think, I think my dog going to stay healthy, boy. And like I say, every time I call him my dog because that's my team. I'm like, T.O., that's my team. That's my quarterback. I'm going to sink with the ship. It is what it is. You know, I'm not going to jump off, you know. You remember the Titanic? I'm one of the men that stand on, I'm stood on the ship, you know. I didn't change and like the dude that that put a uh, 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 change his attire, made it seem like he was gir- uh, 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 a girl. Nah, 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 nah. I'm going to sink with the ship. But I don't think this ship is. It's sinking anytime soon. The first thing we do know is Tua has it, and Justin Herbert doesn't. Justin does. Um, Justin doesn't have it. You got the arm. You look like the prototypical um, quarterback, tall. You know, but I think Tua just has it, and not just that. You know, everybody talk about Josh Allen. Everybody talk about Herbert. Everybody talk about certain quarterbacks. But you can't be accuracy, man. You can't be accuracy. And when you're the most accurate quarterback in the NCAA history, again, remember, who came from the NCAA? First, I'm going to go with who I think was the greatest quarterback of all time, Dan Marino. Then you could go Joe Montana. You got Peyton Manning, you know. You have these these quarterbacks that that been there, done that, and it came from the NCAA. And for him to have the most, for him to be the most accurate, Marcus may say, the most efficient quarterback in NCAA history, you need to put him up there with everybody else. You got to. You feel me? Because Dan Marino don't got no ring, but he's still the best quarterback, me personally, of all time. I'm not going to put Tom Shady up there for those people that's like, damn, he didn't say Tom Tom Brady. No, Tom Shady. And the reason why we call him Tom Shady is because he do shady shit. I'm sorry. He do shady shit. I mean, A.B. knows that. That's why he probably slept with his girl. Mm, I don't know. Probably that's why they got a divorce. Mm, I don't know. Super Bowl, you give me a hug and you look into my eyes and tell me what you see like Bone Thugs and Harmony. Mm, I don't know. He probably was in them guts. I don't know. I don't know. You know, it, 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 allegedly he was in the guts. Allegedly. And he's not he's not making people like me think like, oh, you're wrong. You're wrong, Wes. No, 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 no. You're right. You're right again, Wester Domus. So for me, we do know that Tua, he has it. He had his first game against Justin Herbert. Sorry for you guys. We 
we miss the highlights and we 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 you know we we hate the evil empire when it comes to the new england patriots will bill belichick you know we hate them but you know we had a lot going on it's been a long week of course you know me um wester domus chris the producer we both have two young kids and marcus he's covering the canes all day all long and he's also covering the the prospect canes from high school you know like i said he's gonna be um at that shamanoff central game so definitely um we gotta know how to allocate certain things of course we got all of us got wives all of us got other things that we have to do but again me, I had to jump on today because I'm like, hell no, we're not going another week, not recording. I got to record something for the damn fans. You know what I'm saying? Like, because the national media ain't talking how we talk. The national media want to be politically correct. I ain't polit- politically correct. I'm going to give it to you, Ron Uncut. I'm sorry. But, yeah, Tua took a great start. Showed that Chris Greer wind up getting it right at quarterback. That's one. And who else you know? is undefeated against Bill Bella cheat. And when you could be undefeated against someone that you know is cheating, someone that you know be recording your plays, what'd that tell you about Tua? What'd that tell you about Mike McDaniel? I need it, man. His name is not Mike McDaniel no more. His name is 305 Mike. 305 Mike in the arm of the almighty Tua. You feel me? I'm still on that shit. You feel me? What y'all need me to do? What y'all needed me to do on this ship? You know, because I know we got the, we know we got the captain. You know, I, I I don't know how it is when you're on a ship, but whatever you need me to do, y'all need to be in the kitchen. Look, I know how to whip up some 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 good ass seafood because we we surrounded by the water. You remember? But again, whatever y'all need me to do, I'm there. But so far, since y'all need me for anything, I'm gonna go ahead and do you a solid by praising y'all the way y'all need to get praised. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, man, 5-0 against Bill Belichick, the arm of the almighty tour. You know, another thing I'm loving, I know y'all seeing the celebrations. Y'all see these celebrations? They slide on the floor and do the love like they, they're they surfing. Hold the fullback, he'll follow. Meister, pokes through, touchdown. Miami has gone in. A two-yard spinning touchdown move by Raheem Mostert. And the Finns are... You know, we got the waves, the beaches, the women, the weather. I love that. I love the plain fact that two are even joining in the celebrations. Yes, yes, this is what we do. You know we trendsetters down here. Come on, man, we the trendsetters, you know? So for us, I'm loving that that we're we're a cohesive group. We're a group that that... That seemed like we really got it, you know, that we really, that we really for each other. So again, that's one. But then another celebration. I know for y'all younger individuals that's probably watching this on podcast right now, y'all probably like, what other celebration, West Adamas? Tell me, Stomp the Yard. It's before your time, but y'all need to see that movie. Stomp the Yard. My dog. You see the jersey? Tyreek Hill. He hit the stomp the yard celebration in the end when it was the end of the battle. And, 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 and I was like, is that stomp the yard? Oh, yeah. I found the clip. For Hill, but he gets free. A beautiful two-minute drive. And the dump. For Hill, but he gets free. A beautiful two-minute drive. And, yes, I definitely had to go ahead and gave y'all a little short um, um, you know, speaking on that, but yeah, I love it. I love it. You know, and, and for me, um, it's going to keep happening. We're going to keep going ahead and winning. We're keep going to, uh, uh, um, talking shit. I don't know about the national media, but I'm going to keep talking shit. I'm still going to keep betting motherfuckers. Cause everybody doubting the dolphins. If you bet, bet on the dolphins before the rest of the league or the national media be like, um, yeah, the dolphins, they, they got it. Nah. That's going to fuck up the bet. You know what I mean? It's going to fuck up your bet, and you're going to have to give a lot more money to win some money. Right now, where everybody thinking that we're trash, still thinking that two is nothing, you know, go ahead and bet on the Dolphins. Bet on the Dolphins. Dolphins straight up. You feel me? And you're going to win some money. And I guarantee you, I mean, everybody love when they when they pockets a little fat fatter because something that they just had to play the place a bet on. And, you know, me, I've been winning money. 
um, against friends. I've been winning money against family, and I've been winning money against the bookie. You feel know I me? Mean? So, so you know me. Western Diamonds have never failed. The arm of the Armadi Tool is winning me some money, and I'm gonna keep on that trend. You know, prize picks, all that. You know, I'm on that. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and chime in on the the actual game. We're playing who? We're playing the guy that said fuck Russell. <laughs> You know, we're not playing future, but we're playing fuck Russell. Russell Wilson. Um, Russell Wilson. See, I don't remember his name no more. I know you as uh 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 you know the guy that that slept with future baby mama Sierra for the streets. Sorry, for the streets. You know, because I don't care what anybody tell me. I don't care what nobody tell me because when your ass have a kid with somebody and literally like the kid is five months old and you already with another dude, that means you was cheating before. I'm sorry. You was cheating before and I don't respect it. I don't care that you 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 got this. You know how to talk to the public sometime. For me, you remind me of um Carlton. I don't care. It's not to be usual to have love by anyone. Yes, the Fresh Prince of Bella, yeah, that's what you remind me of, Carlton. The one that that nobody wanted to fuck with um every time I see you, but it is what it is. Um yeah, we're playing Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos. We're playing them, and I think that what? What you saying, Wes? You think? No, you know. Yes, I know that we're gonna win this game. Why? Because like Denver sucks right now. <laughs> Denver sucks. Sean Payton. He knew they sucked. That's why he was talking shit about the previous coach. But um, I'm looking at this game like. We're going to dominate because for us to do what we did to build Belichick, meaning we ain't trying to force shit. Y'all got the safeties and, you know, corners like 12 yards back. We're going to take what you give. We're going to much our boys with Moster. You know what I'm saying? And when you got garbage corners like, you know, from from the, the is it L.A. Chargers? No, yeah, L.A. Chargers. Used to saying San Diego Chargers, but regardless of the fact, y'all still suck. And when we go ahead and do our thing, giving numbers like that, 466 yards against the Chargers defense, then we running a muck on them boys when most are against New England Patriots. Now we're playing you, and we're not gonna win. What's going on here? We're gonna win the game. Uh, Russell Wilson, I, I don't know what's going on with him. I think the sack is, um, kind of ruined his career right now you know i know you did a good thing by buying sierra's masters and giving it back and all this other shit but i'm sorry you feel me your job is to do what herm edwards say win the game and you're not doing that you know i don't think you've seen that 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 interview from herm edwards but yes you need to win the game but you're not going to win the game i'm sorry i'm patrick Sertain jr you should have you know well it's not something that you could do you, you get drafted where you want to get drafted unless you're like a uh, a Manning and say, oh, well, I'm not going to that team. You know, it's different. You know, when you look like me, sometimes you just got to suck it up, go to that place where you don't want to be, collect that bag, and then eventually um, you when, when you hit free agency, go to where you want to go, where there's no tax in Miami. Um, I think I think I, I feel sorry for, for, for those individuals that's um, playing for – the Denver Broncos right now because Denver, like, they don't have it. You know, you spend all this money on Russell Wilson. He's he's fucking up every time he get a chance to. Well, last last game, he didn't have a bad game. He really didn't have a bad game. He still lost, but he didn't have a horrible game. Um, but, yeah, man, I don't see y'all beating the arm of the almighty tour. I don't see y'all, um, you know, doing y'all thing against – this Vic, um, Vic Fangio defense. And look, the crazy thing is we still don't even got Ramsey yet. We get him like in week 10. We're going to get him in week 10, and, and, and it's definitely going to amplify this defense some more. Um, we're going to be balling, man. You know, I, I love the plain fact, Dolphin fans that's actually watching, I love the plain fact that you wake up every week knowing that we're probably going to win. For me, I'm like, who's going to beat us? That's what I'm thinking. Who going to motherfucking beat the damn Dolphins? And I don't see nobody beating the Dolphins besides maybe the 49ers when it comes to the defense. But offensively, 
man, Purdy, Purdy don't got nothing on the arm of the Almighty Tour. I'm sorry, but still, regardless of the fact, like y'all not gonna beat the damn Dolphins. Like, come on, man, let's be real, man. And I was telling one of my partners the other day, man, look, Aaron Rodgers is gone, Peyton Manning is gone, the other Manning brother is gone. You feel me? All these, all these older quarterbacks that have been dominating the league for the last 20 years, 15, 20 years, they're gone. It's the new generation, you know? I mean, you have Patrick Mahomes, face of the league right now. I think I think Tua also is the face of the league right now, even though people don't like him. Um, and that's another thing. Why y'all don't like him, man? He, this guy answered the questions correctly. He don't throw shade at people. Um and, and, and people hating. Well, the beach is the women in the weather. I know. Let me answer my own damn question. I know why. But 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 yeah, man. I don't I don't I don't see um, a lot of teams beating the damn Dolphins because if you want to take Tyreek away, we got Waddle. You want to take Waddle away, we got Barrios. And where he from? He from the U. You feel know I me? Mean? And we 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 got um as a comma over here. Doing things, doing play. I'm like, God, shit. The, what, what I do like is th- that play that he has with the tight end. You know, the tight end always find a way to be open, running into the flat and kind of do like a a like hitch up the field and always open. I love that. You know, I for me, the, a lot of plays I never seen before, and and, and I think that's the reason why um, I'm happy about having our head coach being an offensive court of offensive minded coordinator. Um, I mean, head coach, because like, yo, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and let Vic do his thing with the defense. But when it comes to this offense, y'all playing checkers, I'm playing chess. And that's three or five Mike and Mike McDaniels. So when you come to this game, playing the Denver Broncos, I don't really, I don't really know. Um, if they know who they are right now, are you a running team? Are you a defensive team? Are you a passing team? I don't know. Um, yeah, you come in and you have all these um, big names with Russell Wilson, with Sean Payton. You had the draft pick with um, Patrick Sertain Jr., which is he probably is one of the best, if not, let me say not the best, because we got Jalen over here at the crib and we got x Men. Uh, we definitely need to go ahead and talk about X Man in a few minutes. He found his wealth, his himself in the media again, unfortunately. Um, but 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 you know, with people with money in in regards to him, it doesn't really matter. You know, you still can handle your business. But yeah, man, I don't see I don't see Denver Broncos knowing their identity. Can you run against um teams? Can you pass against teams? Um, I know you got Jerry Judy. You should be able to pass. You got a a, a raw receiver from Alabama. Um, what's going on? You know, and and, and and I want them to keep being like what's going on, because like it's a good it's a good time to be playing a lot of teams that especially from our division um, when they don't got to figure out right now. It seems like the Miami Dolphins have everything figured out. Um, our running game is on point. Um, I love that 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 run that Mostert had um, in the second half. And he sees those double teams all the time. One of the great gunners in the history of the league. Booster takes off and goes the distance for the touchdown. So the Patriots defense sees Mostert pull off the biggest run of the night. Against New England that opened it wide up. It kind of basically like could have ended the game if if um besides that that first down that people say wasn't a first down. Yo. That's what one of these individuals I was speaking to was like, oh, we're cheating. Man, shut the fuck up. I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. Your name is Bill Belichick and New England Patriots. Like, yo, y'all known for being an evil empire and cheating. And how the hell we going to cheat in your damn stadium? That's your referees. They came from over there. Or, or, or the NFL gave you guys them. But everybody know it's hard to play in New England. And we did our thing. So I don't want to hear the bullshit about we're cheating. I seen Bill Belichick on a sideline over here throwing the, the red flag, trying to challenge shit, being mad. Be mad, motherfucker. Sock will, will Bill throw it. We'll just drop it. He's getting worse. He's learning upstairs. more. He's hearing it from yes. upstairs. Could you see it? <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Shaq would have been proud of that, dog. <laughs> Be mad. Because everybody's mad about the flag gate. 
Everybody mad about Spygate. Everybody mad about all that bullshit that you're doing. So I don't want to hear none of that shit that these New England Patriots fans want to go ahead and say about the damn Miami Dolphins. Yo, we're just that good. We're just that good. Just say that. You feel me? Or just say, don't say nothing. You know, like what would our mom say? If you have nothing good to say, don't say it at all. You feel me? Now, I got a lot to say that's not good, but I got my motherfucking facts. That's what we do on the Mark West Sports Podcast. We going to speak facts. We going to speak how the fans actually feel. And that's me. I'm one of the biggest fans in the world of anything 305. That's Panthers. That's Heat. That's Dolphins. That's Tanks. I do not care. And now it's messy. You feel me? Enter Miami. I'm over here saying messy. But, but, but you know what it is. He really is the team. Um, yeah, I, I see us dominating this game. Um, and even if we don't dominate, I don't care. As long as we win the game. Again, Herm Edwards, we played to win the game. And it could be against one, one point, two point, three points. I don't care. You feel me? Let's just win the game. For those that's betting, just bet the Dolphins straight up. And you know you're going to get some money in your pocket. But let me go ahead and jump into x Man. Come on, x Man. For people that don't know, you know, um, x Man find himself in some bullshit again. Nothing that that he could get suspended for nothing that, um, you know, he, he people could look at him sideways about, you know, preferably, yeah, me too. Like, you tripping. You feel me? I think he's married. I'm not sure. But, you know, you married, supposedly. I think you're married. I don't know. Because last time he had some drama going on with his peoples, and I don't know if they stayed together, got a, got a divorce or whatnot. You feel me? Um, but you got four girls pregnant at the same time, boy? Four? Like, like I was saying earlier, I know you got the money if all of them pregnant and you got to take care of all these kids. It's all good. I already know what time it is. You got money. Yo, it's, it's all good. Probably that's one of the reasons why you was hounding the Dolphins about that guaranteed money because, like, shit, boy, you boy, you be laying some hot ones in them, them dimes, boy. You be painting them walls white. Pull out game is not on point. I'm sorry. Pull out game, you need to do better, a little better with that. But yeah, man, I mean, yeah, that's what's going on with X-Men. You know, you got four um, individuals saying that he got them pregnant. All of them is pregnant at the same time. And then you got the wife or the baby mama of his previous kid saying she got one in the oven. So damn, that's five. And I think you already got two. Like, shit, you got seven, like, going to have seven kids? What the hell's going on over here, my boy? Um, like, come on, man. Like, you got too much money to 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 be moving reckless like that. Now, I know if you want to, you know, you know what I'm saying? If you want to test drive these, these women here and there, understandable, man. You feel me? You got the money, you know. I ain't going to judge your looks because, you know, I only go one way, and that's straight and narrow. Um, but hey, it is what it is, man. You know, do your thing, this, that, and the other. But like, you got to be a little bit more careful, man. Like, yo, I don't want to hear X Men got HIV, STDs, or spread all you know diseases between all these women. Um, you got to do a little bit better, man. I ain't gonna knock you too much, you know, because when I was younger, you know, I was one of the biggest ones in the world. But damn, sh- I made sure I strapped up. You feel me? I only got one kid. You feel me? And he's two years old. You feel me? For me being how I used to be long, like 20 years ago in, you know, high school, early college years. Like, come on, man. You you moving like, yo, what, you trying to be like Diddy? You trying to be like NBA, young boy. You feel me? You got about 11 kids, man. 10, 11 kids, man. How many baby mamas? But boy, boy your, your, your mental needs to be very tough because dealing with five women now, baby mamas yo man like as long as you hold it hold it together to to you know play play well for the miami dolphins um i could care less what you do with your dick boy i'm sorry i i you know but i i I do need to tell you like come on man you need to be a little bit more careful man you feel me you need to be a little bit more careful man because again sometimes boy the car look great you feel me but that engine have problems and that could be an std a sti hiv or something like that like come on man you need to do better man but um that's that that that's what i got that's what i got for for the x man man you know i ain't gonna i ain't gonna knock you too much because right now so far it's allegedly um of course we do know a lot of these dimes 
they be for the streets and they just want to tie a celebrity or athlete um with with um whatever issues they got going on you see what zion's going on you know she's supposedly supposed to be pregnant too so we don't know what's going on but yeah man um x-man be a little bit more careful man go ahead and hawk down um some more interceptions especially like what you did last year against Devonte parker mr injury um keep doing your thing and this is going to conclude this episode of the mark west sports podcast um hopefully we have some more positive news after this weekend um and yeah so see you later Peace.